Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabari here, and I decided to do a review, and it's not a movie review, of course, it's a food review. In fact, uh, I just went to Burger King, and a new burger just came out called the Halloween Whopper, which is basically a regular Whopper, only it has a black bun, like this. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at all these sesame seed buns all the way. It's all black. <laughs> yeah, uh, what they did was they actually mixed in with A1 steak sauce, which I love. Because I always put A1 steak sauce on my steak. And I think they might have used some... Uh, squid ink in the mix but otherwise I think it's just the steak sauce itself just to make all these buns like this and it has everything right here it doesn't have onions because you know I hate onions it just has tomatoes meat patty lettuce pickles you name it so I'm gonna try out the burger for myself to see how good it tastes and here we go Well, I gotta say, I mean, it is a regular Whopper, as we know it, but it does have sort of a charcoal taste to it. Yeah, it pretty much tastes like charcoal. That's all it is. So, I probably taste a little bit of the A1 steak sauce, but, <laughs> wow, I mean, th this is really something for Burger King, because... This is kind of like how they started having the Black Slurpee back in the early 2000s when they were selling uh, all these Simpson toys for Halloween. And yeah. Oh, and you can even see the, the bottom where some of the paint started to come off from the bun. So yeah. Mm. Well. Because I know they actually did use this in Japan, where they did use the squid ink to create this. And they also used black cheese, too. So, yes. And this one doesn't have cheese, sadly. <laughs> yeah, they, they should have put cheese on it, but that's okay. But maybe next time, if, you know... If they ever thought about doing this again, maybe this time they will put black cheese. Well, I just eat the entire burger of the so-called Halloween Whopper. And I'm going to say this. I was pretty disappointed. It had a very bland taste. It's like I didn't even taste anything. Other than maybe a little bit of the steak sauce that was mixed into the bun. I mean, it is pretty to look at, though. I mean, think about it. I mean, who would imagine having a bun in this color? I mean, I would imagine they use different kind of colors for it. But I kind of wish they had a better taste. It almost tastes a little bit like charcoal there. I mean, even though it isn't really charcoal, although I'm hoping it isn't. But I know in Japan they said they use uh, squid ink, so maybe it would have had a different taste. I don't know. But it could have been better, if not worse. Another disappointment was, though, even though I didn't get the cheese, they could have had black cheese already. And that's another failure right there. And you know what they could have had done in the first place? They should have put A1 steak sauce on the burger, and not just the burger bun. Yes, they could have done that. It would have tasted a whole lot better. And there you have it. You have an A1 Halloween Whopper. Yeah, it'll taste really good. But let's face it, it's a gimmick. And Burger King really wanted to have something different, so <laughs> there you go. So, with that aside, 
I'm going to stick to the regular Whopper. It tastes so much better. Especially with ketchup. I mean, it's pretty to look at, but at the same time, it's just bland. That's all it is. So I wouldn't recommend it. So anyway, I give the Halloween Whopper two stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.